Hello guys, uh, welcome back to Mezon African Motives. Uh, still on our mathematics N5, we shall be focusing on the logarithmic differentiation as a separate part, uh, considering the question paper which was uh, written in August 2023. That was our question number two. So given to apply the logarithmic differentiation in order for us to differentiate this whole expression of Y in with respect to X. So whenever you're dealing with the, the logarithmic differentiation, what you need uh, from our introduction that I said, you need to introduce uh, the log. In this case, we are working with a complicated uh, situation in this case, whereby we've got a lot of things that you are considering on the right-hand side. So what you're going to do is to introduce the logarithms on both sides of the equation. So you're going to have the log of this side, the log of this side, which is the lean in this case, which is affecting the whole of this part in this case. All right. So on the left-hand side, we're going to remain with the lean of y, which is equal to, let's consider what we have on the right-hand side. If you consider here, we are dividing our logarithms. In, I mean, these terms under the logarithm. So what we understand is that from our laws, the lean of A over B like this is equivalent to the lean of A minus the lean of B. We are going to subtract the logarithms because we are dividing these numbers under the same log. So that is the idea that we have. So this part is representing our A and this part on the denominator is representing our B. So that is going to be the lean of nine minus three X, everything raised to the exponent of four minus because of what we are dividing these numbers, we are going to have the lean of uh, x squared cos 2x. This is what you are going to have in this case. All right. Considering what we have, there are some laws that we are supposed to consider or that we have to apply again. Which laws are we having? All right. If we take here, we are multiplying the numbers under the same log and this is given that the lean of a b in this case if you are multiplying the numbers under the same log is the same as you are adding the lean of a plus the lean of b in actual sense we also have this law because you're having a condition whereby there is a number that is being an exponent and you understand that if we have got the lean uh, n the lean of m let's say we have got m in this case we can we can write this as n multiplied uh, any now as an exponent, sorry, that is going to be the lean of M to the exponent of N. Meaning to say, if we are given this condition, we are simply going to multiply by N our logarithm in this case, which is the lean. So let's ask, let us consider these laws that we discussed. Uh, so like I said, this is going to be the lean. We drop the exponent, we've got an exponent the same way as this n. So as you can note, this n now is multiplying the logarithm. So it is going to be the four, the logarithm of n, uh, uh, that is nine minus three x in this case. That is what you're going to have, uh, which is uh, from the exponent. But from this part that we have, we are going to focus now to say we are multiplying the numbers under the log. So you said if you are multiplying these numbers, it's the same as we are going to add our logarithm separated. So this is going to be the lean of x squared, which is our a in this case, this is our b. So it's going to be lean x squared plus, because we are multiplying, we are going to add the lean of cos 2x. So this is what we are going to have. So lean is affecting x squared. Lean is also affecting uh, cos 2x in this case. Before we even apply our derivatives in this case, we can simplify, expand the brackets so that we can properly uh, differentiate. So this is going to be the lean of uh, nine minus three X, okay, then we can expand. So here we're supposed to expand by negative, negative. It was supposed to give us a uh, negative lean X squared like this. But remember the concept whenever we have an exponent, we are going to drop the exponent to multiply the lean. So this is going to be multiplying our lean. So you're going to have at the end negative two, the lean of X. So that is what you're going to have from this part. And we also multiply by our negative. It is going to uh, also affect this part. So it's going to be negative, the lean of uh, cos 2X in this case like this. So this is what we are supposed to have. We introduced the logarithm. What's the purpose? So that we have got separate terms that can be differentiated 
with respect to x. So with these terms, we are going to differentiate each and every term with respect to x, every term with respect to x. So if we consider here, we do not have x, it's a function of y. So remember what I said from our implicit functions that uh, if you are to differentiate a function with respect to x, but this function is of y, we are talking about uh, y in this case, we are differentiating y with respect to x, or we are talking about a function of y with respect to x. We are going to consider the first derivative of that function times dy dx. So this will be the first derivative times dy dx, derivative of this function of y with respect to x. Uh, so we differentiate that part of y, considering y as a function, then times dy dx. We need to say if we differentiate lean, it is going to give us one over y in this case, then whatever that you get, you multiply by dy dx. So this is the condition that you have from your implicit functions, all right? So remember, we are differentiating with respect to x. So we are going to consider our lean. Uh, our lean, the idea of a lean, when you are differentiating a lean is to find the first derivative of the function of x over f of x. That is the derivative of a lean, whereby this is our function of x. So we need the derivative first we need the derivative of this so the derivative of this zero nine is going to be a zero minus three x is going to give us negative three over the f of x which is nine minus three x as it is so this is the derivative of a lean but whatever that we have is supposed to be multiplied by what by a four so we're going to have four times the derivative of three which gave us minus three over nine minus three x all right same thing here minus two times uh, the derivative of lean x, that one is one over x. The derivative of x is one over the function of x. So it is the same thing that we are going to have here. We are going to have minus the derivative of lean. We say it's the first derivative of f of x, of which our f of x in this case is cos 2x. So what is the derivative of our f of x? The derivative of a cos, that's a negative sign. So it's going to be negative 2 sine uh, 2x over the f of x, the function of x as it is, which is the cos of 2x. So at the end, what we're supposed to have, remember sine over cos gives us a tan. So we're going to have minus two uh, tan 2x in this case. So as we can see, that is what you're going to have. So multiplied to minus two tan uh, 2x. So that is the idea that you're going to have. Remember your derivatives, your basics uh, of your derivatives, all right? So you can simplify further before we find uh, what is dy dx. So you're going to have one over y times dy dx is equal to, this is same as over one. So it's four times negative three, which is negative 12 over nine minus three uh, x. That's one times nine minus three x. Same as this part, negative two times one, which is negative two over X. Negative, negative, that was going to give us a positive two uh, tan two X in this case. So what we need, our question, what is the idea here? We are supposed to find the derivative of Y with respect to X. And we can see that we have our derivative of Y with respect to X, but it, it is being affected by this one over y. So what are you going to do? We are going to remove y, one over y by multiplying by y both sides. This side, we multiply everything by y in this case, thus this can uh, cancel. So we are going to have dy dx, which is equal to y into the whole of this bracket. So it's going to be y into uh, negative 12 over nine minus three x minus two over x in this case. So this is gonna be negative two over uh, x plus two tan two x in this case. All right, so this is what you're going to have. But remember, this is a derivative of y with respect to x. So here we are having y on our answer, which is not supposed to be like that. So what are you going to do? We are going back on the introduction, on the question, y is equal to the whole of this expression that we're given before. So meaning to say we are going to substitute this part in terms of x that is representing what? That is representing our y in this case. So we are going to take the original part as it was before. So therefore, it means the derivative of y with respect to x is going to be, remember, y before was given as nine minus three x, everything to the exponent of four, over 
uh, x squared uh, cos 2x, all right, into the whole of this bracket as it is. We are not uh, changing anything in this case. So this is going to be 9 minus 3x minus 2 over x, then uh, plus 2 tan 2x in this case. So this is going to give us the derivative of y with respect to with respect to x. That was the whole idea of our question. So if you are dealing with the, the logarithmic derivatives, uh, as we can see, it's important that the first part you introduce the logarithms both sides of the equation, uh, I mean, that you're given, you introduce the logarithms, apply the laws of logarithms, because this whole part here is from what? Our laws of logarithms. So once you understand your laws of logarithms, then it's not going to be uh, uh, it's not going to be a challenge. So let's revise also our basics of our N4 laws of logarithms and the simplification of basic derivatives. How to simplify our basic derivatives because it's like an application that you are doing, but from your basic derivatives. So that is what we had, guys. We shall come again with another part of our logarithms. Uh, but let us make sure that you watch the introduction part of the video uh, of the logarithmic differ uh, differentiation so that we can at least know the basics before we continue uh, with this uh, with question papers, actually.